So in the last tutorial, we looked at increasing your player's strength and health when they level up. And now we're going to look at how to actually dynamically increase the amount of XP you need to get to the next level. So what I mean by that is, say from level 1 to level 2, you need 20 XP, but by the time you get up to level 10, you need 500 XP to get to the next level. Uh, that's a pretty easy thing to do with a tiny bit of calculation, some rounding, and uh, some new number variables. And we can do this all within our level up logic cube right here. So let's go ahead and jump into this level up logic cube. And we're going to start a new number variable. And unlike any of our previous number variables, we don't have to set this as the global players variable because this should be a variable that is kind of consistent across all of your different players. It doesn't matter how many different playable characters you have, it should always be the same between them. So we're going to create a new number variable and we are going to call this XP to next level. And we're going to, going to start this at 20. So for your first level, that is going to basically be uh, you need 20 XP to get to your next level. Now, in pr the previous two tutorials, it has been 20 XP to get to, get to the next level. So you'll actually have an easy time finding where we reference that 20. And you'll see it right here on line number 7, where when started to global player XP is greater than or equal to 20, then basically they level up. So instead, we can just replace this hard-coded number 20 with this new number variable called XP to next level. So we're going to do that put that in there, remove the 20. And now this allows us to dynamically increase the amount of XP you, ne you need to get to the next level. And so all I need to do is add in um, a new line here. And we're going to call that um, our XP to next level. Let's go ahead and copy that. So every time I level up, I want the amount of XP I need to get to the next level to also increase. So for now, let's, uh, let's have it increase by um, itself times 4. And this is really useful because let's, uh, first let's put this within um, a sub-expression. So XP to next level increment by XP to next level divided by, uh, let's just say, 4. And that allows this number to continue to go up more and more and more as you're going up levels because you're dividing a larger and larger number every single level by 4, so uh, just like that, your number is going to be going up. So let's also display how much XP we need to get to the next level. So I went ahead and copied line 6 just to make things a bit easier. So we're going to display, let's uh, create a new text variable and call this XP to next level. And we are going to get rid of global player, XP, and copy over here, XP to next level. So. Also, I'm going to go ahead and create a, a bunch of new goblin spawners because we're going to need a few of these guys to really show how this uh, is going to help us get to level 2 and level 3. So I'm going to create um, six more goblins right here. Let's go ahead and jump into test. So now you'll see my level is 1, my amount of XP I have is 0, and the XP to get to the next level is 20. And you also see I still have my debug lines right here of 5 and 50 from my last tutorial. Uh, that's fine. We can get rid of that um, when we get to uh, test mode again. So let's go ahead and defeat our first goblin, get our second goblin. And now you see our XP to next level has gone up to 25. So let's go ahead and get three of these goblins. And now XP to next level is 31.25. Let's defeat a few more. And now it's 39.063. So that number becomes kind of not too readable and doesn't look too nice as you were adding more and more decimal points. Let's go into edit and let's show you how to fix that. So first I want to just get rid of those debug lines that I used uh, the last tutorial, which was uh, displaying strength. 
and displaying health. Uh, always good to, you know, once you're done kind of debugging new code you're adding in, um, just to stop displaying those. So the way to fix this is to do some rounding. And so we want to add a new line here. And let's bring down XP to next level, because this is the thing that we want to round. And let's say let's round that up to the nearest number. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to set this number variable uh, as equal to, let's go over to math, and you're going to see this functions folder. In there, you're going to see this, uh, this code tile called ceiling. And ceiling returns the value of that number rounded up to the nearest number. So choose ceiling, and then choose, uh, again, put down XP to next level. So what this is basically saying is the, you, the XP you need to get to the next level, it's always going to be equal to its ceiling. So this is uh, the way to round that up. Jump in a test. Let's uh, take down a few more of these goblins. So now XP to next level is 25. So now it's gone up to 32. Before it was 31.25. And now it's gone up to 40. So um, those numbers look a lot nicer than they were before. So that's, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So then you can go ahead and play around. You know, This is where you really start to get into the balancing act. You can play around by how much you want to um, increase the XP by. You know, Actually, a number that usually works is instead divide it by just 2. So you know, every level, you're basically increasing the amount of XP you need by 50%. But uh, you know, that's, that's the basics of how to just have it dynamically increase. So very simple um, and very easy to go ahead and keep on tweaking until you get it to uh, the right number. So that's it for this quick tutorial. In the next one, we're going to be showing you how to start to make a mana system, which you can use for spells.